hello there. Yes, the rumors are true. My name is indeed Ollie, and if you came here looking for bread, you will not be disappointed, because I have a loaf right here for you. Today's little nugget of wisdom comes to us by way of Goth, and he says the following. None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. This is a sentiment that I've shared with you in many, many videos, and it speaks to the dangers of certainty. This state of entrapment Goth describes is precisely what happens when we are absolutely certain or overly confident in our so-called knowledge, understanding, and beliefs. When we view our opinion as fact, then we fall into this trap of thinking we know something. And the moment we believe that we know something is the moment we close the door on the possibility of learning something new. Because how can you possibly learn something if you believe in your heart of hearts that you already know it? You won't even give it the time of day. We all believe that we are free, that we have free will, that we can do and say as we please within the boundaries of this legal and socioeconomic system. If you think you're free, you're not going to go out seeking inner freedom because you're going to assume that you already have it because freedom is freedom right wrong at least in my opinion that's wrong in my opinion you can live in a free country that has protections for all your rights and civil liberties and at the same time you can still be a total slave you can have political freedom you can have physical freedom and be a slave to your desires a slave to your beliefs, or worse, a slave to the beliefs of others, the beliefs of institutions, the beliefs of political parties, subcultures and other groups. You can be a slave to money. You can be a slave to food. You can be a slave to sex. You can be a slave to companionship. You can be a slave, my friends, to any number of things. Because ultimately, those things are just objects, fetishes, onto which you have projected value and importance. And it is this investment of your own values and importance that gives it power over you. But you're never going to inquire into that type of thing if you think you're already free. If you believe that the actions you perform and the reactions you are subject to are willful, deliberate, and meaningful actions that you undertake out of choice. But that's not the case. We may be deliberating, but the options presented to us are not the only options. And so if we're only looking at those options and making a decision, we're not truly free. It's kind of like if I say, listen, you're free to choose. Do you want to shoot yourself in the foot or in the hand? Well, that's not really freedom, is it? Because you still have to shoot yourself. True freedom is saying, I won't even pick up the gun, motherfucker. That's true freedom. But if you think you only have the choices laid out in front of you, then you have the illusion of freedom. It's kind of like when people talk about Trump being president and they say, well, what do you like Hillary better? No, I'm not talking about Hillary. I'm talking about Trump. But the fact that you only had those two to choose from is indicative of a broken, corrupt political system that gives you the illusion of choice, the illusion of freedom. And hey, when you live in a democracy and you have a vote every four years and you have a choice, why would you fight for more? You already have freedom. You already have a choice. But what you don't realize is that this is the illusion of freedom and the illusion of choice. And the purpose of those illusions is to stop us from actually acquiring those things in reality, in practice. So my friends, if you think you're free, there is no 
way out for you. Question your freedom. Look within and try to study your reactions when you find yourself getting angry or depressed or jealous. Did you choose to become angry? Did you choose to become depressed or jealous? Of course not. So are you really free then if you can't choose your own reactions to things? Are you really free if you can only choose from the choices laid out before you by the powers that be? Is that freedom? I'll let you decide. When you have your answers, be sure to share them with me in the comment section down below. Until next time, live well my friends.